I haven't. You sold your Toyota Tacoma yet. Shame on you. morning everybody and welcome back to Rob Motive. So why haven't you sold your Toyota Tacoma yet? You know there is a huge demand for them out there right now and dealerships are begging for you to come in and trade your Toyota Tacoma because they know they're so valuable and they can sell them at a higher price and somehow stay in business right? So there's a couple things to think about. You know why haven't you sold your Toyota Tacoma yet? Why haven't I sold mine? I have one sitting back there. It's a perfectly good Toyota Tacoma. It's in great shape. Dealership could probably get a lot of money out of it. I don't know if they'd give me a lot of money for it, but they probably could. So I think about this. Number one, what would I get? You know, the reason they're giving so much money for the Tacoma right now is because you can't find them anywhere. So what would I replace it with? You know, a, a Ford Ranger? A Chevy Colorado? Maybe the new Frontier? How about the new Maverick? You know, go to one of those little small size trucks. Well, first of all, no, no way. I'm not willing to do that. If I was to sell my Toyota Tacoma, I would want another Toyota Tacoma, which I could not find. There's even rumor I don't know if it's true, but there may not be any produced for some little period of time. Again, thanks to this chip shortage that's out there. So why should you sell it? Well, there's a few good reasons to do that right now. Number one, you can get a lot of money out of it, right? I mean, they're paying premium prices for these trucks. You might get more money out of it than you even paid for it. How about that? Little extra cash in the bank. That never hurts, right? And if you have a second vehicle that you don't really need to have it, in other words, you're not depending on it, depending upon it for getting to work or maybe your job or daily travel, it's probably something to consider. I mean, how often in the history of vehicles, certainly not, I don't think in my lifetime, has there ever been an instance like this where you could sell your vehicle for more than you paid for it? Generally, you lose a grand or two right after you drive it off the lot. Not you go in to sell it and pick up 5K. I mean, that's some nice extra coin in the bank, right? So that is a good reason to sell it right now. You know, if you have your eye on another Tacoma and it's available, maybe because you want to or need to update, maybe not a bad time either. What about that Tacoma that needs a little bit of work? You know, before it's worth top dollar. Is it worth doing that right now? I would say, heck yeah, depending on what it needs. I mean, you know, if your truck requires $10,000 worth of work and it's got 350,000 miles on it, yeah, you probably don't want to put 10 grand in to sell it. Matter of fact, I'd say you probably want to just hold on to it and drive it until the wheels fall off at that point. But if it's marginal, let's say you need to put a, a grand in it or something. Maybe it needs new brakes and new tires. You know, if you do that, you probably, assuming the rest of the truck is low mileage and in great shape, you're probably still gonna come out ahead and make some extra money by going ahead and doing that those just two things now so that you can sell it and make more money on it. So what's my opinion? Do I think anybody should be selling their Toyota Tacoma right now? Um, well, it depends. Uh, again, it depends. If you've got some good equity in it and you can get a lot of cash out of it and there's no reason not to sell it, hey, why not? It's a financial investment at that point, right? Who would have ever said that a normal truck is a financial investment? It's always a loss until now. Um, would I sell mine if I could go pick another one up right off the lot just like it and bank some money? You know, that would be tempting for me, if I'm being honest. You know, there are things I could do uh, for the channel differently than what I've done before. Maybe a different lift on it, maybe different wheels and tires, maybe different mods, either by manufacturer or by altogether, you know, just something completely different. Instead of a sport bar, maybe I'd put uh, another bed rack on it. 
I've had a bed rack on it before, or maybe a tonneau cover, something like that. So it's tempting for me only if there was a truck sitting on the lot that had exactly what I wanted on it. And what are the chances of that? And that's the other thing you're gonna run into. I had mentioned that in another video a couple of days ago or so. And that is, even if you are looking to go in and trade it off and make some bank on it, what are you gonna get instead? You know, you may not be able to put your hands on the truck that has the options and fine features on it that you want. So you're gonna have to deal with that. And of course, there are dealerships out there that are charging premiums for the trucks right now. Somebody sent me a message the other day and it was somewhere in the, I think it was $60,000, $65,000 range or something like that for a new TRD Pro, $65,000. Man, I could buy a low mileage Porsche for that. You know, if you, if you equate things, it's like, really? A new Tundra for $65,000? I couldn't swing, I couldn't justify that. You know, because in the end, my money isn't inflating. You know, just because this chip shortage is going on doesn't mean the money I have sitting around, however big or small it is, is inflating to something bigger and now somehow worth money, or worth more money rather, and that 65,000 is not gonna be as painful. It's gonna be just as painful. And what am I getting? I'm getting a truck that's probably worth, yeah, mid 40s maybe, if ultimately. And once the chip shortage goes away, you're never gonna get that premium back that you paid. It's gone. It's money that's thrown in the garbage. You're never gonna get it back. So it's those reasons, I guess, as to why I haven't sold my Toyota Tacoma, nor am I looking to sell my Toyota Tacoma. There's nothing else out there that I would replace it with. And honestly, it's for the channel and me. I mean, you know, selfishly, I do love the Tacoma as well. That's why I've had, I don't know, six of them, seven of them, however many it's been. I keep going back because I love the truck. Of course, as I've mentioned before, we do have this redesign coming, but realistically, that's probably about three years from now or so. So. If you're holding out and you're waiting for this redesigned Tacoma, thinking it's gonna be coming out soon, uh, it depends on how you define soon, I suppose. But for me, three years is not soon. That's probably the lifetime of a lot of people out there with their trucks. In other words, the lifetime of their trucks, how long they would normally have them before they trade them off anyway. So you could pick up something now, drive it in the interim, and you'd be ready for that brand new redesigned Toyota Tacoma when it does come out three years from now. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know. Why haven't you sold your Toyota Tacoma yet? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra. and Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay frugal out there. Bye.